Experiment number 16. Testing the solubility of salts of S block elements. Objectives To provide necessary skills and knowledge to identify salts of S block elements that precipitate in water with common anions. Equipment and chemicals required. Proceed. Add sodium chloride to the given cation solutions. Dissolves well in potassium ion solution. Dissolves well in magnesium ion solution. Dissolves well in calcium ion solution. Dissolves well in strontium ion solution. Dissolves well in barium ion solution. Add sodium bromide dropwise to the given cation solutions. Dissolves well in potassium ion solution. Dissolves well in magnesium ion solution. Dissolves well in calcium ion solution. Dissolves well in strontium ion solution. Dissolves well in barium ion solution. Observation and results. When we add sodium chloride dropwise to the following cation solutions, all the cation solutions will give soluble salts. All the cation solutions will give soluble salts with sodium bromide. So, all of them will dissolve well. Likewise, when we do the experiment using sodium iodide, all the cation solutions will give soluble salts. In the next part of the experiment, when we add sodium hydroxide dropwise, only potassium and barium ion dissolves well, but magnesium will give a white color precipitate, which is magnesium hydroxide. Calcium and strontium partially dissolves in sodium hydroxide solution.
observation and results. When we add sodium sulfide dropwise to the given cation solution, all the cation solutions will give soluble salts with it. When we add sodium nitrate dropwise, all the cation solutions will give soluble salts with sodium nitrate solution. When we add sodium nitrite dropwise, all the cation solutions will completely dissolve. This is because all the cation solutions will give soluble salts with sodium nitrite. Procedure Add sodium bicarbonate to the given cation solutions. Dissolves well in potassium ion solution. Dissolves well in magnesium ion solution. Dissolves well in calcium ion solution. Dissolves well in barium ion solution. Dissolves well in strontium ion solution. Add sodium carbonate dropwise to the given cation solutions. Dissolves well in potassium ion solution. A white precipitate forms in magnesium ion solution. A white precipitate forms in calcium ion solution. A white precipitate forms in strontium ion solution. A white precipitate forms in barium ion solution. Add sodium sulfate dropwise to the given cation solutions. Dissolves well in potassium ion solution. Dissolves well in magnesium ion solution. Partially dissolves in calcium ion solution. A white precipitate forms in strontium ion solution. A white precipitate forms in barium ion solution. Add sodium sulfide dropwise to the given cation solutions. Dissolves well in potassium ion solution. Partially dissolves in magnesium ion solution. A white precipitate forms in calcium ion solution. A white precipitate forms in strontium ion solution. A white precipitate forms in barium ion solution. Observation and results. When we add sodium bicarbonate dropwise to the given cation solutions, 
all the cation solutions will give soluble salts with sodium bicarbonate. When we add sodium carbonate dropwise, only potassium will give a soluble salts with sodium carbonate and magnesium, calcium, strontium and barium ions will give white precipitates with sodium carbonates. They are magnesium carbonate, calcium carbonate, strontium carbonate and barium carbonate respectively. When we add sodium sulfate dropwise, potassium and magnesium ion solutions will give soluble salts with sodium sulfate. Calcium partially dissolves in sodium sulfate, but strontium and barium will give white color precipitates with sodium sulfate. When we add sodium sulfide dropwise, only potassium will give a soluble salts. But considering magnesium, it will partially dissolves. Calcium, strontium, barium will give white precipitates with sodium sulfide. Procedure Add sodium oxalate solution dropwise to the given cation solutions. Dissolves well in potassium ion solution. Partially dissolves in magnesium ion solution. A white precipitate forms in calcium ion solution. A white precipitate forms in strontium ion solution. A white precipitate forms in barium ion solution. Add sodium phosphate to the given cation solution. Dissolves well in potassium ion solution. A white precipitate forms in magnesium ion solution. A white precipitate forms in calcium ion solution. A white precipitate forms in strontium ion solution. A white precipitate forms in barium ion solution. Add sodium chromate to the given cation solutions. Dissolves well in potassium ion solution. Dissolves well in magnesium ion solution. Dissolves well in cal calcium ion solution. A pale yellow precipitate forms in strontium ion solution. A yellow precipitate forms in barium ion solution. Observation and results. When we add sodium oxalate dropwise only, potassium ion will give a soluble salt. Magnesium partially dissolves in sodium oxalate. Calcium, strontium and barium will give white precipitates with sodium oxalate. When we add sodium phosphate dropwise, potassium will give a soluble salt. Magnesium, calcium, strontium and barium will give white color precipitates with the addition of sodium phosphate. 
Then we add sodium chromate twice, potassium, magnesium, and calcium dissolves well in sodium chromate. But strontium will give a pale yellow precipitate with the addition of sodium chromate. Barium gives a yellow precipitate with sodium chromate.